Hi, I'm Tiffany. I'm going to talk about this eye design. This design is a really great design when you are at busier events um, and you need something quick, but also events where there are older kids, teenagers, and adults, because as you can see, this is a very um, dainty kind of design, but also not, you know, super child, like a super childish design. Um, one thing to keep in mind when you are doing designs like this is to make sure, as you can see, I don't twist and turn my brush at all. I keep my brush in one straight motion. That really helps make it so that the colors don't get muddy and stuff. And while this design is a green design, you are definitely able to do other colors. Um, also right here, I just took a little bit of water and I made it kind of look like watercolor. Uh, this brush that I'm using is the Mark Reed Signature brush. Um, these are my favorite round brushes to use. As the video goes on, I just add different design details. Um, coming up here, I'm going to be adding a stencil. One thing to keep in mind when you're using stencils with face painting is you need the paint to be sticky. You do not want the paint to be wet, otherwise it'll kind of go stencil um, the paint needs to be sticky it, it it makes it so that the stencil comes out more crisp and I've been doing this for six years and I still have stencils that are stencil stencil designs that don't come out looking as good as I want them to um, it's definitely an art form in itself because as you can see right here I even had some that kind of slid under the stencil itself um, this design is pretty simple. It's really just three different paints. It's the one stroke, white, and then an orange, well, like an orangish gold paint. Um, like I said, it's a very, very quick thing to be doing when you're at super busy events. One thing to keep in mind is the less you have to rinse, sanitize your brush, the faster you're going to be. So if you're able to do a design with um, not very many color changes at all, it's gonna make it so that you're even faster. And the reason that it's important to be fast is because you know I've found that parents have a hard time getting their kids to wait in line for a decent amount of time. And not only that, but a lot of the times when um, we're at these events, people are paying like a ticketed price to get into an event um, or something like that, and they don't wanna spend their whole time waiting in line. So if you're able to be as fast as possible it just really helps make it so that um, you're able to get as much done you know in in a short amount of time as possible um, and I can tell you that parents really appreciate when you're able to paint fast this video is actually kind of a special occasion because my teenage daughter really does not let me paint her face anymore. So the fact that I'm even able to paint her face, like right there, she was telling me that she does not want any chunky glitter because she doesn't like putting it on her face. So it's just so funny because when I first started my business, she absolutely loved getting her face painted and now she doesn't like it anymore. But thankfully I have a seven-year-old daughter who absolutely loves getting her face painted. So it just kind of makes it so that the teenager doesn't have to get her face paint it anymore. If I were doing this design on someone else, I would put gold chunky glitter on the design because that would really help elevate the design and make it look like it's even more of a St. Patrick's Day design. Ready? Oh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Say, do this at prom. No. <laughs> huh? No. 